Every year, many developing countries export billions of dollars in manufactured products all over the world. Bangladesh, for example, exports jute yarn for the textile industry. But for every ton of finished product, 2.1 tons of CO2 are emitted locally in the atmosphere, in addition to other local environmental and human health impacts caused by the use of harmful chemicals, the high consumption of water and energy, and the generation of large amounts of solid waste. So the main question is how to calculate the effects of exports on local pollution in a given country, and how to make this information available to help governments and producers working to reduce pollution. Let's find out by navigating through this new platform. Welcome to the SMAP Trade and Pollution Dashboard. SMAP stands for Sustainable Manufacturing and Environmental Pollution Program, an initiative established by the United Kingdom with the support from UNCTAD in 2019. On the main page, you will find all countries that are part of the program. You can also go straight to the topic of your interest by clicking directly on the green buttons located on the right-hand side of the panel or you can click on the arrow below to move to the next page. Let's start here. The Life Cycle Assessment page allows you to visualize the different environmental impacts in a region or country by sector or category. Under Sector, if you select a country, for example Bangladesh, in the Region and Country list and choose a category in the drop-down list below, you can access the data that allow you to see the distribution of local category impacts presented in any given sector. Under Category, you have access to a different view of the graph, showing which sector contributes more to a specific environmental impact. On this page, you can also access two other views. The icon Cradle to Gate covers a partial product life cycle analysis from resource extraction to the manufacturing process of the plant, before the product is delivered to the consumer. The icon Gate to Gate presents an analysis that only considers the impact of manufacturing activities inside the plant. For more information, please access the full report. In the next page, you will find a list of the regional trade agreements signed by all SMAP countries to date. In the Region and Country drop-down list, you can select the country of interest for more specific information. Regional trade agreements can be a type of governance that aims to control pollution caused by international trade flows and determine duties for buyers and sellers. The following pages present related data used to build this study. Under Products Export in 2019, you can select the country of interest and identify its main exported products. Under SMAP versus others, you can see the difference between the value of yearly exports of SMAP products and other products such as raw materials and industrialized products by selected region and country. Under commercial partners, you will find historical export data by the quantity and value, the top 20 destinations, the evolution of exports, and the main type of products exported. There are two international standardized systems to classify traded products. The harmonized system, which presents the export in monetary values, and the international standard industrial classification of all economic activities, which uses quantities of exported products. The SMAP dashboards harmonized these two systems to present data in a simpler way. Under Production GDP, you will find production indicators in US dollars by selected region and country. You can compare values such as GDP, exports of goods and services, manufacturing, and other indicators found in the drop-down menu. Finally, under Reports, you can access the reports on which the dashboard was based, as well as the executive summary for policymakers, all the annexes and the link for the live stream promoted by Instituto 17 and UNCTAD to promote the report. Mm -hmm.